بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب این آئی ویلکم یو ٹو آ ونڈرفل برینڈ نیو ویڈیو آن آئلس ویل آئی گاٹ تھروٹ ایشوز اوکے لائک یو نو آئی گاٹ اے سور تھروٹ سو ایف دیر از اینی تھنگ رانگ پلیز مائی اپالوجیز ان ایڈوانس Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a daily IELTS timetable, a daily schedule for your IELTS preparation. And if you go through this schedule or if you act upon this schedule uh, religiously, you will be able to get more than your desired ban. Okay. So you may change it according to your timing. According to your, uh, I mean, busy hours, if you are a professional, you can change this time, uh, this timetable as per your requirement. But I'm going to tell you what to do during the day and how to prepare, what to focus and all that stuff. Let's get started. You may start your IELTS preparation with listening module. It's a very good idea when you wake up in the morning, it takes only 25 minutes to complete a listening test. So you need to... Wash your face, brush your teeth, right? And after that, you should attend one IELTS listening test, empty stomach. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you to do it, empty stomach. There's no restriction. You may have some tea, coffee before it and all that. Once you've completed the listening test and as you attend this listening test, you are not supposed to temper the audio. Put the audio aside. If it is computer delivered, type your answers. If it is paper delivered, write your answers and complete the test. Once they say that is the end of your IELTS listening test. Now you need to check your answers. You should go to the answer key of that test from any Cambridge IELTS book and then you see how many answers are correct out of 40. For instance, your target band is 7. For that, you need 30 correct answers. If you have less than 30 correct answers, it means you are not ready for actual IELTS exam. So now, second stage is after checking your answers, you need to highlight the wrong answers. You may use pencil to underline highlight or you can use highlighter. Uh, but there is a brief warning. Highlighters are not allowed in actual IELTS exam. So now you need to work on those Questions. For example, question number four, your answer is wrong. Drag the audio to question number four and play it again. When you play the audio again, you can see why your answer is wrong and why other answer is right. At times, if you do not understand the audio, same Cambridge IELTS book, you can go to the audio script. Now, you may read what is what they speak in the audio that is given in written form as well in audio script so you can read. And you can see, okay, I've written this answer, actual answer is this. And in uh, audio script, they have underlined the answers as well. Like this, you need to attend one listening test every day. And remember, you need to learn from your mistakes. Once your listening test is over, now you are ready for reading test. So you may take a break. Or if you want to do it right after listening, you can do that as well. It depends on you, right? Now, you are going to attend one reading test and you are going to time yourself. You should have your mobile device and in 55 minutes, try to do as much as possible. Try to attend as many questions as possible, as many questions possible for you. And then when 55 minutes time is over, you need to stop. Now, once you stop, the first thing you need to see how many questions have you attended. In, 40, in one hour, uh, one hour, 55 minutes time, out of 40, how many questions have you attended? That will tell you about your time management. Like if you could only attempt 30 questions, 35 questions, 5 questions, you could not even reach there. It means you need to manage your time to attend the full test. And why 55 minutes? Because 5 minutes is the transfer time to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Now, you need to check your answers and highlight the wrong answers. And now you need to start investigation. Why your answer is wrong? Why right answer is right? So you need to look for the location and explanation of all your wrong answers. This process may take one hour, two hours, doesn't matter. 
you need to find all the explanations and all the locations of your wrong answers. Once you are done with it, then you can take some time. You may have your lunch if it is lunch time, otherwise dinner, cup of tea or anything. Now you are going to start with writing module. For writing, I would like to advise you all, good readers are the good writers. And whatever you want to write, you should read that. For that, I would advise you to read as many essays as possible. Some good essays you will find in Cambridge IELTS books. Otherwise, you can download some good essays from different websites. There are some websites on IELTS and they have some good essays there. So you need to download those essays from there and every day read two essays, rewrite one. Next day, read two essays and rewrite one. And remember, in total, there are four types of essays, opinion, discussion, problem solution, advantages, disadvantages. So you need to read and rewrite one essay, one type of essay each day. Today, opinion, tomorrow, discussion, day after tomorrow, uh, problem solution, two days after tomorrow, you may write uh, advantages, disadvantages essay. So read and write, read and write. Through reading, you will improve your vocabulary, sentence structure, ideas, and all that. And when you write, you will try to reproduce what you write. So your brain will absorb ideas, and those ideas will be yours once they go through the process of writing. So this is the best advice on writing. Same you have to do with letter writing if you are gender training IELTS candidate, and report writing if you are academic IELTS candidate. Now, we are left with speaking module. First of all, you should remember good listeners are the good speakers. So in order to improve your speaking, try to imitate IELTS listening. The way they speak in IELTS listening, try to imitate their style, copy their accent, okay, copy some sentences from there, use those sentences in your speaking. These things will improve your score in speaking module. For speaking, there is a list of 100 cue cards and there is a list of 200 topics, almost 200 topics for speaking part one. Now, what you have to do every day, prepare five cue cards, right? And every day prepare 10 topics from speaking part one. Now, if you have a partner, you can practice together and try to find a partner. That partner can be someone's physical partner, or you can find someone on WhatsApp, the person can help you, okay, and you can study together on WhatsApp, that is going to be all right. But you need to find a partner. Five cue cards, and then you need to record yourself. When you turn on the recorder of your mobile device, you can see time, and try to speak for 90 seconds for cue card, and for speaking part one, Try to answer in six to seven sentences. First sentence should answer the question directly and last sentence should conclude. Like this, you need to practice every day. Day after day after day after day, you will feel much better. Your score will improve and you will be able to get your desired band in IELTS. Okay. All the best guys. Thank you so much. I also teach IELTS online all over the world and in campus in Lahore, Pakistan. We offer IELTS test booking service. We offer PTE online classes. We offer IELTS study plans, single module retake. If you want to get any of these services, you can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub wholeheartedly wishes you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.